we've just heard from the lead investigator, Hans Malander, and also the chief prosecutor, whose name is Christa Pedersen, and they've both said that they now believe that the man who murdered Olaf Palme 34 years ago is a man called Stieg Engström, who's also called the so-called Scandia man. Now, we must point out he's not been convicted in a court uh, or anything. This is what the prosecutor and the police believe, uh, that he was actually the man who murdered Olaf Palme. And, you know, this investigation has been going on for so many years. They've looked at so many different angles, so many different leads. They're saying this is one of the biggest investigations in the world. It's absolutely the biggest police investigation here in Sweden. They're comparing it to the investigation of the murder of John F. Kennedy, even, in terms of the size. They've actually questioned 10,000 people in this investigation. They had uh, 788 different guns that they've tried to fire to see if they could find the actual gun that was uh, used in the murder. Uh, they had 90,000 individuals who were involved in this uh, investigation. So it's obviously a really big murder mystery. And now when they claim that this is the man, the, the Scandia man, Stig Engström, who was behind it, it seems like the country is almost breathing a, a sigh of relief to know finally who was behind this murder. So why do they believe that it was this man? Basically, he worked just next door to this murder site at the Scandia building. He left his work only about two minutes before the murder. And the prosecutor claims that he left his work, then it fired his gun, shot Olaf Palma in the back, and then left. So what we now believe to be the solution to this murder mystery will also, of course, be investigated by the press here in Sweden. But at least now we have a named person who they believe was behind it.